For the best in eyewear, call Dr. Leek's Optometry. Patients were not going for their regular checkups. Patients, even when they thought they were exposed, did not go for treatment. And many patients actually had what we call like a, a community um, barrier in the sense that they stayed in the same place. And imagine a, a person who is infected, who is not going out, not traveling. There's a tendency to reinfect each other, in, especially in a small community. Dr. Tozingoji is an obstetrician and gynecologist for Cleveland Clinic. She says there is many ways to help prevent sexually transmitted infections. The first step is education. The public needs to understand what exactly they are and the signs and symptoms to look out for. Those can include unusual discharge, itchy genitals, bumps, sores and warts, painful urination, and vaginal bleeding that is not on your period. However, symptoms aren't always present, which is why regular checkups are so important. Dr. Goji says if an individual suspects they have a sexually transmitted infection, they should really see their physician. They can always treat an issue and prevent it from further spread. If you think you got exposed to sexually transmitted infections, or you have high risk behavior, or you can't remember what you did in a recent party, or you had a condom failure, or you just feel like you, you've been exposed, then you should request to be tested.